<laughs> All right, moving on. A 66-year-old former food service director has been accused of stealing $1.5 million worth of food, mainly chicken wings. Mm, not during Black History Month, y'all. Come on. Right. God was like, when I heard this, I'm like, please don't be black. Please don't be black. But it was chicken. Can- it was chicken, Claudia. <laughs> Why can't we, we resist that tasty bird? <laughs> All right. According to documents, uh, Vera Liddell's fraudulent activity started at the height of COVID. Oh, during a time when students were not allowed to be physically present in school. But the school district continued to provide meals for the students to pick up. So according to court records, Liddell was accused of ordering more than 11,000 cases of chicken wings from the school district food provider and then picking up the order in a district cargo van. What are your thoughts on these accusations? Go ahead, Kim. She innocent. Let me tell you something. She innocent. <laughs> Anybody who steered that much chicken, it leads me to believe she was doing the Lord's work and she was out there spreading it to the community. That's what it was. That's what it was. She was spread to the community. But no, here's the thing, right? And it was so funny because being a former accountant, when I read the story, when they said that midway through the year, they were already $300,000 over the food budget for the year or whatever, and that was the red flag that led them to do an audit. I was just like, this is what happens when Black people steal from a job. This is <laughs> what I stole from a job one time. Oh, I got to tell y'all that one day. I almost went to jail, bitch. Um, <laughs> we see the picture of production, the picture while Q was talking. Of Q in jail? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, this, this is what happens because you, I, you know, we get greedy, we get so caught up in the moment, and it's like, I, I guess she didn't understand the accounting of it all because, ma'am, somebody was going to recognize that that much chicken was being bought and that much chicken was missing. You're supposed to steal family reunion size portions and repass portions and pass the appreciation portions of boxes of chicken. You're not supposed to steal enough chicken for us to send to a small village in Africa and sustain them for a year. And that's what this lady did. But I'm sure when the court transcripts come out, it's going to say that the Lord spoke to her and that she was spreading out chicken to the impoverished families of whatever city and state she's from. She looks just like one of my aunts. I was like, is that my aunt? <laughs> <laughs> Al, real quick before we go to commercials, any thoughts on this story? Yeah, you know, you know, this is so interesting to me. It's super interesting. Something in the milk ain't clean. I'm with Q on that. I don't think this woman acted alone because think about it. She ordered 11,000 cases of chicken legs, right? Over a 19-month period during the height of the chicken cost, which was the highest it's ever been at $3.25 a pound. Now, guys, listen, this is the interesting part. In the school system that she works, kids are not allowed to eat any food with a bone in it. So why was it this flagged at the very beginning? How do you order food that is inappropriate and out of the guidelines of your school system's food uh, service for two years to the tune of $1.5 million? And she did it using the school van. Something in the milk ain't clean here, and I can't wait to figure out what it was. Well... Shout out to her for pulling that off. And, you know, shout out to her confidence. You know, we're going to honor her confidence, not her crime, but her confidence for Black History Month. On that note, we're going to take a quick commercial break. 